Howdy everyone, this is me again, Carl Carpenter with Arrakis Consulting. Uh, another one of those sleepless nights, or as the, what's that song, uh, Hello Darkness, my old friend, uh, however it's Hello Insomnia, my old friend, I'm here to see you again. Today we're going to talk about the Department of Defense TCPIP model. Um, and the important thing to remember about that is if you understand the OSI model, you already know the DOD model. You just have to memorize uh, a kind of a memory trick and use a little common sense. And the memory trick is memorizing 3112. And I'll show you how this works uh, in that. But again, if you don't understand the OSI model, you really need to be watching the OSI model videos first uh, in order to uh, grasp the concept there before you start digging into the DOD model. Now, are you going to have to focus or worry about the DOD model in your job? Probably not. Um, you're most likely going to be dealing only with the, the uh, OSI model. If there's some reason why you have to worry about the DOD model, then maybe you're working for the DOD, Department of Defense. Who knows? So let's just jump into it, get this ball rolling faster. All right, so the DOD model is made up of four layers other than, rather than seven layers. But all of those layers map to those four layers of the DOD model map to the seven layers of the OSI model. So again, this is why it's important that you understand the OSI model first before you look at the DOD model. And I will just click through some stuff real fast so we can talk about how to remember it. So when I said if you can remember 3112, then here's the three, the application layer three. three one, there's three different OSI layers, then there's one, then there's one, and then there's two. All right, so three, one, one, two, starting at the, uh, obviously the three is at the application layer, so just go down at the top of the stack going downwards and you'll get three, one, one, two. Now you do have to use a little bit of common sense uh, in relation to this. So we have the network layer in the DOD model, but we also have a network layer in the OSI model. So they view, the DOD model is viewed a little bit differently. So for example, <clears throat> let's start with common sense stuff. We have the application layer at the OSI model. Well, we also have an application layer in the DOD model. So that's an easy one uh, right there. We have IP addresses. And what does the I stand for in IP? Internet at the network layer of the OSI model. So that's how we're going to translate internet IP addresses to the internet layer of the OS or the DOD model. Then we have network cards at the data link layer. So we're going to translate that to the network layer of the DOD model. And after that, at that point, there's only one thing left, host to host and transport. So with that, that's, that's your common sense mapping between the OSI model and the DOD model. Remember 3112 and use a little common sense. And you could get these, uh, if you had a question or something like that on a test in relation to uh, the DOD model, you could answer it. Uh, there may be other specific questions in relation to the DOD model, but if you view it from the OSI standpoint, you are still good to go. All right. So uh, it's also important to understand that it's the DOD model is not a protocol in itself. So if people say the DOD protocol or something like that, it's not a protocol, it's a suite of protocols. And we've already discussed all of those protocols like TCP, UDP, FTP, TFTP, and all the other things in the OSI model uh, videos that we discussed uh before and with that i'd just like to thank everybody for spending time with us or time with me specifically and can't sleep anyways so if you have trouble sleeping then maybe this will help you if not i will look forward to seeing you next time please don't forget to subscribe like uh, leave comments suggestions things like that definitely interested in input from everyone thank you very much see ya